Whoa! One habanero root. I did not expect that. I'm gonna throw that over there so you can see it. That's why wide spacing is so useful. The roots don't fight with each other. That's crazy. I could have spaced this way wider. Did you ever just end up with too much of something? This year we ended up with too many habaneros. Too, too many. I mean, we have a, we have more habaneros than any person could eat in a decade. And after making a few gallons of hot sauce, mixing them up with our cayennes and with our other peppers, realized I, I'm done processing habaneros. So is this a waste? Is it a waste to have all these peppers being thrown to the chickens? Sometimes I would be very hard on myself. I'd say, you know what? We have to eat every one of these turnips. We have to eat every one of these hot peppers or nobody gets dessert. We have to use everything that comes through. When I was down in Grenada, I did a video once where I was wandering through the jungle and I came across a mango tree. And the mango tree was just dropping like a thousand pounds of mangoes. And somebody said, you should make jam out of that. You should preserve those. You should do something with all those. And I said, this is one tree. Out of hundreds or thousands of trees growing all over the jungle that is making massive amounts of fruit and dropping it on the ground. There's no way. There's no way in a zillion years we could process all these mangoes. And if we did, there's no way we could eat them all. Sometimes in your garden, you just have too much. Or sometimes you get tired of something. Well, what do you do? I would venture to say that it's not a waste. Now it would be a waste if you 
harvested them and threw them away. But once you've run out of people that you can give them to and you still have more, or things are spoiling, or things are past their prime, the first thing I would say is give them to the chickens. Number one, give them to the chickens. Recycle them through the chickens. Turn your harvest, your overabundant harvest, into eggs and chicken. Chickens are great recyclers if you have chickens. The same could be said about pigs, but I don't like pigs as much as I like chickens. The second thing is I could take all this material right here and do the Korean natural farming sort of thing. Do the Dave's fetid swamp water sort of thing. Make a, fill a 55 gallon drum full of water, throw all this mess in there, and let it uh, just rot down. Let it rot down into a liquid fertilizer slash pepper spray, which I could then use on my garden as a fertilizer. Works really well. Stuff all this stuff in a barrel, cover it with water, let it rot down for about four weeks or so, and then pour it out, strain it out, throw it on your garden beds. Number three, so I could do the real simple thing. I could just pile this all up on a compost pile, let it rot down, let it all return to the earth and be recycled later into a crop that we want to eat or that we have to grow next year. You know, so we could turn these fallen peppers into cabbages, turn these peppers into tomatoes, whatever. There's lots of things we could turn them into. There's one of these roosters who's been getting a little, a little nutty lately. <laughs> and he like jumped one of the kids and put a nasty kind of a, a cut into his knee because roosters do that. So I've got to keep my eyes open here. This is, this is risky, real super risky being out here. We've got three roosters though. We're not sure which one is the attack rooster. So it kind of, uh, it's kind of frustrating. We have to put a, a child out here for bait and figure out which rooster attacks him. This video has violated YouTube's terms of service. No, we just have to watch it. But eventually we'll figure out who he is and he'll be rooster soup. There's no waste. So anyway, there's just three ideas. If you're, if you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I can't deal with all this right now, recycle it. Give it away, recycle it. I mean, I've had people say, I can't stand it, I can't, I don't want to have a big fruit tree because I'll have so much fruit. It'll be such a waste. Don't worry about it being a waste. If you can't give it away, you can't ferment it, you can't process it all in time, you can always compost it. You can feed it to your chickens. You could fill a barrel full of it, let it rot down into Dave's fetid swamp water. This right here is getting turned into chicken compost and into eggs and into chicken and into mean roosters. I may not be able to eat all these habaneros, but I could certainly eat the eggs later on. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't worry that much. And Happy New Year. Here's to the abundance of nature and a good God who blesses us with way too much sometimes. Catch y'all next time. And until then, may your thumbs always be green.